Uh, sa atin lahat, gagayam kang kakabsat na yung mga aldaw, kada kayo amin. Sabi nung iba, very disappointing daw ang listahan at programa ng Marcos 100. Napakapayak, napakasimple. And certainly this has been the tone that we have chosen for an extremely austere and simple, almost monkish man. My father, the former president, Ferdinand Marcos. Walang parada, katulad ng gusto ng nanang ko. Walang concert, katulad ni Bong Bong, na ang hilig-hilig maging rocker. Wala rin palabas at walang kamatayang sayawan, tulad ng gusto ko. For a change, gawin naman natin ang gusto ng tanging amang, ama ko. Simple, derechahan, payak at intelektual. Palaisipan for a very cerebral, reflective, and ultimately a mindful man. So we have started debates, storytelling, all manner of literary contests with the Department of Education, Children, and today we launch the series of lectures and fora that will define Marcos 100 in this very reflective effort on what finally is the Marcos legacy. It shall also be, in addition to being austere and ultimately intellectual, most heartfelt and compassionate, mapagmalasakit, and we will be giving many services for free here in Batak in the hospital for dialysis, ultrasound, ECG, and medical services. <laughs> There will be special services also for our farmers and agricultural and fishing communities. Finally, ang walang kamatayang scholarship sa MMSU to finally achieve that dream that he had that this would one day be the UP of the North, the University of the Philippines that no one had to struggle to get into but instead that every Ilocano had the right to a world-class education. So eto, the North remembers. Ano nga ba ang naaalala ng bawat isa? At uh, eto nga, the North remembers. Ferdinand Marcos is, after all, every Ilocano. The story of every Filipino is embedded in that biography of being born of an arid and harsh landscape, struggling through life and every adversity, and finally coming out triumphant by his own definition. Contrarian and difficult is the Ilocano spirit. What is the character of this man, and what is the character that we too, in each of us, bears? We embody, in fact, loyalty, pride, the contradictions of treachery and betrayal, of genius and madness, of murder and passion. That is finally the Ilocano history that you and I know and that we have lived with day after day. The Bard says, as, speak, as after all, Shakespeare has always been right, I speak not to disprove what Brutus said, But here we are to speak of what we do know. We in Batak, we in Ilocos Norte, we who have studied and learned and read what we do know about the Ferdinand Marcos that was. Born a hundred years ago, he declared that history is not done with me yet. In Hawaii, upon landing in Hickam Air Base, When we were all in tears and everyone said, the end is nigh, it is finished, we are dead and doomed. He said, no, children, to my family and to everyone, history is not done with me yet. Let us continue to work so that everyone will learn. So it is for every Ilocano that arrives in Manila, puzzled, bereft, and lost by the animosity the diatribe, the invective, and the abuse that we hear when the name Marcos is lifted. After the almost worshipful apolakai of our youth, 
of our grandmothers, of our tatang and nanang, why is it that this debate, this argument about who President Marcos is, continues to burn unabated a hundred years after his birth? Indeed, if the North remembers, winter has not come yet for the legacy of FM. What is his legacy? What do we bear today that bears his mark and will have changed the Filipino people forever and made the Ilocanos what they are today? Sa inyong lahat, maraming maraming salamat. Agbyag ni Apo Presidente, salamat Apo Lakay. Just Nina. It's about time that we have to make the ideas of President Marcos alive through concrete activities, nation-building activities, governance initiatives, because he has a lot to offer. In this battle between a demonized Marcos and a saintly other side, I'm not going to name it, that side, I think mas malaman ang ino-offer ng salaysay ng Marcos kasi meron nga siyang pagiging intelektual. May filosofiya siya, may anchor siya. Hindi lang ambisyon. Let us just harness the gems of his ideology, his philosophy to build a nation from concrete manifestations of forms of governance, initiatives. And in the end, the narrative will change. Sadly, some people may not recognize the contribution of the Marcos years, but definitely, we really don't need the recognition as long as the effects, the real effects of this legacy will carry on. And I'm sure that the institutions and the trees that were founded and established before are a strong foothold towards the continuance of this legacy. So the artists and cultural awareness and consciousness that we are in now definitely has been significantly affected by the Marcos legacy. ASEAN is in search of a leader that would, like Marcos, catapult it to greater heights and would ratchet up all aspects of interaction as we move to integrate regionally. If President Marcos were alive today, undeniably and undoubtedly, he would be the clear leader of the ASEAN. Thank you. In my opinion, none of us, including myself, who were participants in that at that time, are not in a position to make a judgment of whether he was a hero. But I can say without equivocation or certainly without an embarrassment that President Marcos was a leader who served the Philippines selflessly, dynamically, with vision, with intelligence and foresight, which no other leader has so far shown.